Hey guys, it's me, Vidush. Today, we're at the woods with some inspiration for a new piece of artwork that I'm working on. Let's go. I'm looking for some different type of trees that might inspire me for my artwork. Maybe something different that no one's ever seen. I've heard that there are some grass snakes here. I'm just trying to find something interesting. Oh look, it's a snake hole. Run! Yeah, it's just a badger hole. Hey guys, as you see, I'm back from the woods. Hopefully, I make a good piece of artwork. Let's begin. Firstly, I'm going to start drawing the head of the owl as it will help with the body and then the wing. Here, I am using basic shapes to help me with my drawing. Now I'm starting to draw the body of the owl, which sort of looks like an oval. Here is a good example of me using shapes for the owl's legs and tongues. I am now starting to draw the back tail of the owl. Remember to carefully see the outline and follow it. This would help you later on once you started to draw in more detail. Now I am starting to draw a wing. Make up the outline and see what shape you can see. I think these would make mini ice cream cones, don't you think? This is a very important part, as you need to get the right shape for your feather or ice cream cone. Once you have finally understood how to do this, do the same thing in a symmetrical way with the left. All that hard work has paid off and you finally got a completed outline of a beautiful owl. If you want, you can smudge some of the edges of the owl to give an effect. Now we are going to start giving it a more better look. I have finished shading the eyes and now I'm giving tiny tiny little marks to give it more of a realistic look. Let me give you some facts while the douche is finishing off his work. The douche is going to be using Daniel Mackie's style. Do you know who Daniel Mackie is? Well, let me tell you. He is a Japanese-inspired artist who uses nature for his work. Daniel Mackie uses its habitat and then decorates the creature with it. Goodbye! Now, I am drawing the trees that I saw in the forest to make the owl's feathers look more decorated.
to give more of an effect to its habitat, I am drawing tangled branches to make it look more better. It doesn't matter which direction you're drawing them, as long as you enjoy what you're doing. Adding leaves or thorns also gives it an effect. Now, to give a touch of beauty, I'm going to be drawing wild flowers that I saw in the forest. Isn't that great? You can make any design you like. Now to cover the body, I'm drawing a few bushes and a small rat that's trying to escape from the owl. <sighs> I feel so great after I've finished a piece of artwork. I'm probably the best artist out there. In fact, let's ask Siri. He'll tell me the answer. Siri, am I a good artist? I can't really say. Thanks for watching my video. Like, subscribe and share. New videos will appear every Friday and they'll be way more interesting. Until then, Vidushis out.